Oh wait, did I get this? Hold on. Hello, hello. Um, hey guys. I hope our microphones sound good because I actually forgot to test them before we start recording. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, they never sound good, so like I don't actually give a fuck anymore. <laughs> um, what's up, guys? Oh, they're we're not making money on YouTube. There it goes. Fuck, 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 fuck. Bom, bom, bom. Cunt. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, ooh. Awesome. <laughs> okay, sorry, we got distracted. That was quick. Um, so, <laughs> there's a cat hair in my mic. Ew, there's a bunch of hairs in my mic. Shocker. Yeah. Um, so today, guys, we have a special treat for you. Fantastic. Oh, look, I wrote in a chunklet should, again. Should we start with a little life update from us? Yeah, what's going what's on in going your on life? with everyone? Meaning me and you? Or the everyone? You are so quiet, dude. Stay I'm, closer to I'm mic. far away from my mic. I'm scooting. Ow! I'm, I'm scooting. <laughs> Lauren hurt herself. Yeah, I bumped my bad knee. I have a bad Whoa, knee. I don't know if I ever told you guys that. Lauren but broke I do. her knee doing karaoke. <laughs> Not a lie. Five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any fun updates for the? Oh, you know what? Listeners? I actually want. I want to complain about something. Okay, go for it. Okay. Well, also, plus, apparently, we have to start. We have to be a little more negative this time. Because yeah, we're not allowed to be like happy people. Our last episode was positive. We talked Kendall about things doesn't that like we us love. We're miserable, and apparently, people don't like it when we're being positive and nice. People just want to hear us talk shit. So, mm-hmm. um, no. So I have something to complain about, or just like not complain exactly, but like I have I I made an ob- obs- observance recently. Observation? <laughs> yes. Is that what you were going for? <laughs> oh dear. I the same thing. Whatever. I made an observation recently. So okay. Something that I've always found stupid is men who, mm-hmm. um... Agreed. Yeah. Just, like, so... Th- I just observed that. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. What were you saying? Yeah. Um, men who come home from work and expect, like, dinner on the table. I've never liked that vibe, obviously, yeah. right? Um, I mean, if that's what works for you and your partner, like, whatever, but, like, having Especially it- if you're both working. So yeah. many men, like, their wife works, too, and they still expect dinner having on the Having that table, as the expectation is, is, like, weird to me. Mm-hmm. But, um... Recently, so I guess for those of you listening who don't know about my personal life, but I live with my boyfriend, and for most of our relationship, we've both been working full-time. Um, he also is in school full-time, but he recently stopped working because he's just focusing all on school, and I've still been working. Um, and the past couple weeks, he's been like in between semesters, so he's not, in, he's not working or in school right now. His school, his school will start up again soon, but right now he's not doing either. And so I've been working, and he's been staying home most of the time. And when I get home from work, and I realize that he cleaned or he was, like, doing chores all day, I don't feel like, okay, where's dinner? I feel guilty. I feel mm-hmm. like, oh my gosh, I'm not doing my part around the house. Like, I've been getting mad at him because he's done the dishes, like, five times in a row. <laughs> and I'm like, it's my turn to do the dishes. Like, next time I'm at work, don't do them. I will do them when I get home because it's my turn. And, like... I don't know, it's weird because to me, I keep my work life and my school, not school, work life and home life totally separate, where, like, why does me being at work change how much I should be doing at home? Does yeah. that make sense? Like, I, you wouldn't let that happen the other way. You don't go also, to work and be like, sorry, I can't file this report today. I did the dishes. Yeah. So I'm already overworked. Also, if you really love somebody, you don't just expect stuff from them all the time. It's great to get stuff from them. But you want to do stuff for them. Like, you want to be the one helping out with cleaning. It's great if they help, too. You know, obviously. You should both be contributing. Yeah, obviously. But, like... But at the end of the day... Why do you just expect one person to do everything? No, it makes no sense for... Even if you do work 9 to 5, expecting your partner to do all of the stuff at home is weird. It's There's a lot of stuff to do at home. No, there is. Especially... And we don't even have kids. And Mm -hmm. I still feel guilty when he is doing more stuff around the house than I am. Um, But it's like... All I did was sit at a desk all day. That's literally all I did. So when I come home, I'm like, yeah, of course, like, I want to make dinner and I want to do things. Like, why would I come home and be like, since you've been the only one taking care of the house all day, how about you keep doing that now that I'm home? Mm -hmm. It makes no sense. If, I understand if you have a job that's, like, really, really taxing. Sure. You work a lot of hours, you work a very physically demanding job or something like but that. But a lot of I guys just not have, like, nine to five to desk like jobs. That. If you're working in an office job where you just sit in a chair all day, get your ass up and do some work around the house, Yeah, like, I'm like, stop yeah. fucking whining. <laughs> Men are such complainers. I'm like, I don't know. I've never understood that, but even more so now that I'm kind of in that position, I don't get it at all. I couldn't mm-hmm. possibly... 
like understand that feeling of coming home and then being like, okay, Nathan, where's dinner? <laughs> I could literally yeah. never do that. It makes no sense in my head. But anyway, um, that was just an observation I made recently where I was like, damn, that really is crazy. So anyway, um, what's going on in your life? <laughs> She's putting on lip gloss. <laughs> she also has a zit on her nose. I do? Yeah. Right? There. Oh, you're right. <laughs> uh, anyway, what's going on in your life besides your nose zit? Um, <laughs> non. Non. Not in honey. Really, nothing. I mean, I don't really have any updates either, to be honest. Sorry, guys. Off to a really boring start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, maybe I'm we'll just. Real hard. Maybe we'll just get into the main meat of the juice. Like, I, I think I said that before. Meat of the juice. Yeah, I, the main juice of the pod. The pod juice, as I like to call it. The main squeeze. <laughs> um, today, sorry, today we're going to be reading something fun. Not oh, yeah, fan we're just fiction. We're going to sit here reading, and you guys are going to listen to the pages turning. Hi! Fooled <laughs> you so good. That was so fucking stupid. Not what we're doing. Um, okay, anyway. So, no, we're gonna be reading my old journal entries. I was a big journaler growing up, ever since the age of like nine, until still currently, I've been journaling. But um, the most I journaled was definitely in like junior high and high school. I kept really good journals. Mm -hmm. So, um, we're mostly gonna be going through those kind of eras, because that was pretty. That was, like, peak cringe Lauren. Like, from 2011 to, like, 2015 was kind of iconic um, for me. Because that was, I was between the ages of, like, 13 to 17 in those years. So that's, you know, everyone's most cringy time period, probably. Um, we didn't go through these ahead of time to try to, like, find the worst or best or cringiest ones. We're going to just kind of randomly flip through and whatever we find we'll read and if I need to give some context or backstory hopefully I'll remember what the hell I'm talking about mm -hmm. and I can do that but um, unfortunately I have no journals to read as yeah I've never we, been a we would be going through both of ours if we could but Annie never kept a journal growing up so this is mostly going to be about me. Very Lauren focused yes, episode. Yes, this is a very Lauren. If anyone can think of episode ideas that can be focused on me in the future, that'd be great. <laughs> Eating disorder. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Um, okay. Where should we start? Like, should I just have you flip know. to a random page and tell you to stop and just well, see I what it Well, I want to read on? this weird insert you put in here. Oh, you I put taped... a folded up page Yeah, in I the taped a page, page into the middle. What date is on there? February 1st, 2014. Ten yeah. years ago. I was 15 years old at the time. So, what does it say? Okay, so today I did, like, nothing. It was just another Saturday where I did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Awesome. awesome. Good I update. I did some lame sauce chores. My mother has not checked SIS in faux evs. Okay, okay. SIS was the website where we could see our grades in all of our classes. And our parents had access to it so they could see our grades and stuff. Yeah. My parents would check it all the time to make sure I was up on my homework. And Me and Lauren weren't... Um, Good students. Fantastic students. <laughs> we were bad students. I was a good student for a while. Like, when I was a kid, I was a fantastic student, actually. Um, but anyway, I did some lame sauce definitely. chores, and my mom hasn't checked my grades. Yes. Um, I and really what did I say? Faux evs? Faux evs, yeah. And okay. I really hope she never does, because my grades are shiz. <laughs> <laughs> the slang that I use is crazy. My grades are shiz. Um, okay, so I got my door taken away. <laughs> that sucks freaking. Not freaking sucks, that sucks freaking. <laughs> What? <laughs> that sucks freaking. Mm. But whatever, oh, no. I'll probably get it back soon. I don't want to clean my room. <laughs> a drawing of a gun that says, kill me, heart me. <laughs> P.S. I don't know why I wrote this in a different piece of paper. I just did. Okay, well, bye. <laughs> awesome. I think that's a pretty good look into my personality at that age. <laughs> I love that it's just like, ugh, my grades are shiz. And like, my mom hasn't checked my grades in faux evs. Like... 
Faux just Ebbs. the dumbest teenage girl slang from that time period. Iconic, honestly. Um, okay, let me see what I've got. I'm gonna flip through. Okay. Wait, hold on. What? I just need to read this one sentence I just saw. So I've eaten like eight corn dogs in the past three days. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think I need to like type these up. Like the best entries, the best pieces, just make a whole like book like excerpts from lauren's journals Agreed. just like all the funniest b parts because there are so many good like just one lines like that <laughs> so i ate like eight corn dogs in the last three days i don't know why okay <laughs> do i say anything else about that i don't know why haha ha, i just have yummy <laughs> okay that's it <laughs> what the fuck? okay awesome cool um the journal that i have is from a little bit earlier so i was a bit younger this is from 2012 march of 2012 so i was 13. Sorry. Are you still reading? Yeah, I'm still don't, reading. Don't read ahead. <laughs> um, so this journal that I have is definitely very boy focused. I would do boy updates like every week. I'd oh, be like, dear. so here's who's on the roster. Lauren and I were both the kind of people that had a million crushes yeah. in like, elementary school and junior high. I had, well, the thing is I had one crush that was consistent from like age 12 to like 19. Just like that one stayed, but then I still had, like, plenty of other boys in the mix that were constantly rotating through. Also, I don't want to speak for you, but I know this was true for me, and I'm pretty sure it was true for you. Quite a few of these boys, never spoken to. Just observed. Um, <laughs> no. No? I, I only, so I think I would only develop a crush on a boy when he, like, noticed me, like, once. Mm. So if we ever, if we talked one time, then I'd be like, well, yeah, I'm in love. Maybe, I'm like, a very him. short, brief interaction, but... <laughs> But, like... Nothing major. Like, not no, actually friends with I, these I people. think all of them I had actual relationships with. Oh, okay. Not, like, dating relationships, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I think everyone... Anyway, this is... Okay. Alright, well... This was March 26, 2012. A few days ago, I found out that Blake liked me at the same time I liked him. Weird, huh? And guess what happened today? Well... Blake thought I still liked Austin, and he was pushing me towards him, and I was like, Blake, I don't like him anymore, and he's like, who do you like then? And I was like, um, I like you, and he was like, me? Oh, really? And I was like, uh, yeah, and then Amanda pulled me away and all this crap, and I was so happy she did. Then a few minutes later, he walked up to me and said, I think I might like you too, and I was like, oh, um, my face is red now, isn't it? <laughs> then he laughed. Then later, we were walking down the hall, and he was like, so, and I was like, so, I have to go this way, bye, and walked away. I think he is so cute. <laughs> Wowza. That's, that's like wow. the most junior high boy crush. My face is red now, isn't it? <laughs> uh, uh, girly. Okay, I was 13, alright, but that's like... Oh my gosh, that's like, yes. if, if I were to make up what I thought a 13-year-old girl's diary looked like, that's what it would be. Like, it's yeah, like the most much. stereotypical, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, and that was me, that was actually me, these were my words, my life experiences. And that conversation did happen, actually. That was real. <laughs> what were you reading about the corn dogs oh you were laughing gosh. at? So, well, you moved on from the corn dogs really quickly, but I was just reading the rest of that page. Um, so that website where you can watch Frozen online for free blocked Frozen from me, Johnny Face. <laughs> <laughs> Such a real experience. <laughs> but I can watch Catching Fire, so I did anyway. Okay. So I did. Anyway, New Beginnings was today, and when I went up to say my thing, I choked on my own spit. <laughs> What? It was pretty embarrassing, but I just made jokes about it and kept going, so it's all good, wait, homie. Wait, wait, what was happening when I choked on my own spit? New beginnings? What is new beginnings? I don't know. Was that a church thing? Oh, I think it was, I a, think church was a church thing. thing. <laughs> Anyways, you choked <laughs> on your own spit, oh, apparently. Awesome. Also, on the next page, it says, I heart frozen, in really big letters. <laughs> okay, we were big frozen girlies. This is so fucking funny. First sentence. Okay. I was... Third about to turn 14. It was like a few days before. It was a few weeks before my 14th birthday. Okay, May 23rd, 2012. For the past few days, I've been nice. New for me. <laughs> You're not wrong. That's so true said, about you. And he 
Anywho, my mom told me to write about my feelings or whatevers. <laughs> oh, no, whatevs. I said write about my feelings or whatevs. So while I was being nice, I felt happier because I was being nice. I'm glad I chose to be nice and stuff because it seemed like people liked me more. <laughs> Who doesn't like being liked? Oh, That's dear. what I wrote. That was the entire journal entry. I was like, oh, my God, when I'm nice, people like me more. I like that. That's my revelation that I had. Wow. wow. Shocking. <laughs> um, I have a bucket list here Ooh. from summer 2013. Summer 2013. We have Shall to. We? Yes. Okay. okay, I have an awesome bucket list for the summer. I have like 42 things on it. I, I might get more, though. I'll list them. All right. Run in the Dirty Dash. You did not do that. No, of course I didn't. <laughs> Ew. Start doing yoga. No. Nope. <laughs> Cloud watching. Sure. Stargazing. I know sure. we did that. Um, do the splits. Nope. I used to be able to do the splits. Not anymore. Not even close. Camp out in my backyard. We definitely did that. Yeah, we did that. Carve initials into a tree. Irresponsible. I did do that. <laughs> <laughs> Irresponsible. Bad for the tree, but definitely I did. I put mine and I put my crush's initials on a tree. Lovely. Pajama day. Really, really Literally easy every goal for day. the summer. <laughs> like, every single day. If you don't have to leave the house, why would you take your pajamas off? I don't off? know. That was a stupid one. Fly kites. No. <laughs> Dance in the rain. That one's checked off, so I guess you did it. Whoa, there are a lot of these. Yeah, you said there were 42 at the beginning. You added one extra. I guess. Um, Dance in the rain. I already said that. Friend vacation. You were like 15. Why would you go on a vacation with your friends? I don't know. I was a dreamer, man. <laughs> Start an animal care business. Start a business? <laughs> Shut up. Girl. <laughs> no, just like in, for in the neighborhood, like going to walk your dog. I know. Like, <laughs> um, celebrate BFF day. Okay. okay. Write a journal about summer. Holding yeah. Holding it. Yeah, I did do that. <laughs> fall in love. Ugh. Oh, I was 15. Ambitious. <laughs> I didn't fall in love until the ripe old age of 23. <laughs> Invent something. What the fuck? <laughs> Also ambitious. I had really high expectations for myself. Right? You know what? At least she had goals. You know, yeah. That's yeah. great. Right with left hand. I mean, I did, but I wasn't good at it. But. <laughs> Find a four-leaf clover. Uh, we don't even have a whole lot of clovers in Utah. No. Like, where was I expecting to find one? <laughs> um, Show Shack? What am snow I? Shack. I oh, wanted, Snow Shack. Yeah, I wanted to get a... Oh, because Max worked there, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, are we name dropping? Oh, I guess we are. I had just said my crush. Oops. Was like, Her crush funny. worked there. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's a really basic name. Whatever. No, I mean, I said in my journal, I wrote about Blake and Austin. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. In this one, I love Ryan now, I guess. Whoever that is. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> <Anyway>. Okay. <laughs> uh, where was I? Go on picnics. Okay. Bob for apples. What? <laughs> in the middle of summer? <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. Honestly, okay, wait. That activity actually makes more it's sense. It's not a very As a Halloween -y summer activity, activity because you get all wet and yeah, stuff. Like, true. I feel like that would make sense as, like, a outdoor, like, sprinkler pool party. Yeah, like, you're as a right, kid. actually. I think it would make more sense. Yeah. Um, apples, build a fort. Apples are just We probably for the did fall, do that. We I'm built sure forts we did. a lot when yeah. we were kids. Um, have a story to tell. <laughs> That's <laughs> any story. <laughs> I was so dramatic. Like, I want to have a story in my heart. Last night was a movie. Yes, yeah, so that's basically my vibe. <laughs> that's in my vibe. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you gotta keep going. There are a lot yeah, of sorry, these. Sorry. Do you want me to run a some? six minute mile? Hell no. Damn, girl. Um, throw a pie in someone's face. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Friend dates. Okay. Um, oh, high school musical marathon. Oh, that's a good one. We that's should do good. that this summer. <laughs> Absolutely. Some of these I stand we by. At our slumber party, we can have a high school oh musical God, marathon. Yes. Some of these I stand by. Some of these, like, what the fuck? <laughs> waffle truck. That's all it okay. says. Just yeah, waffle I truck. I just wanted to go. I've never, I had never been. <laughs> um, blind makeovers. <laughs> Mia That's and I checked did. Off. Yeah, Mia and I did yeah. those. Um, run the 5K. You, I, you probably I did... walked the 5K. <laughs> no, I ran the 5K one year, but it wasn't that year. Uh, go hiking. Okay. Get ukuleles. You did that. I did. Make movies. Oh, we did that. Oh, I've made <laughs> movies. We should upload Carpet Swing to the Ren and Stumpy <laughs> YouTube channel, I think. I don't know if we should. I think we should. And um, we Lauren. <laughs> Annie and my brother and I made a movie called Carpet Swing. This next one. Use the force. <laughs> oh, I'm so nerdy. Really what ambitious. Oh, my gosh. There's another one later on that gets even nerdier. Oh, shit. Um, Mystery Cup. Yeah, I did that too. <laughs> is that? Um, it's when you get a bunch of little sample cups and you fill them with random shit from your fridge and then your friends have to like blind eat them and guess what they're eating. It was okay. like a YouTube challenge. You were really into YouTube challenges yeah. for sure. Eat healthy. 
Nope. And then the very next one, create new pizza. <laughs> yeah. Create, I did create a new sandwich. Create new sandwich. It's checked off. <laughs> yeah. Mia made... Okay, I remember what I put on it. Mia made a sandwich that was... Instead of peanut butter and jelly, it was chocolate pudding and jelly. And also plain spaghetti noodles. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? And then I did plain spaghetti noodles <laughs> Salsa. <laughs> spaghetti noodles in the sandwiches. Salsa and something else. I don't know. We just had leftovers in the fridge and I was like, let's put this on here. Oh dear. But okay, the chocolate pudding and jam is not a horrible idea. Yeah, no, that's but with fine. The spaghetti but why is there spaghetti in there? <laughs> okay, next one is a very obvious reference to the movie Fifty First Dates. Huh? PB cups and eggs. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. Peanut, you want, the, want me to put the peanut butter cups in your eggs? <laughs> Apparently. Um, climb trees. I don't know how to climb trees. Um, number 42, even nerdier than use the force. How? Speak Klingon. Ah, what the hell? It, what? I don't even remember ever having that desire. I don't know, girl. Why? Can I even spell it's it right? On there. How do you spell I it? think so. Klingon. Okay. Convince someone you're from a different country. Well, just like speaking a British accent. I guess so. And that's it. You want to know something crazy? Pretty great, huh? I uh-huh. do. I also have goals for myself, like, oh, we've got more. <laughs> oh, they might be kind of, like, eating disordery. Oh. Well, let me see. One dessert a month, yeah. early. No, they are, don't read those ones. God That's kind of sad. Can I read them to myself? Stop biting my nails is okay. Drink eight cups of water, get eight hours of sleep. Okay, they're not actually that bad. Um, <laughs> no, the, f- number 43, convince someone I'm from a different country. When my friends, Amanda and Mia and I were at, like, Temple Square up in Salt Lake City once, and these people asked us to take their photo, and we all responded to them in, like, British accents. And we thought that we, like, were so... I'm sure that you were... Oh, I'm sure that they did not believe us, and they were like, these fucking kids. Anyway. So, okay. This one, I have to read, because the first sentence of this is so fucking funny. It's April 14th, 2012. The first sentence, three words. Ethan doesn't learn. Still true. Still so <laughs> Definitely true. Definitely checks out. <laughs> Ethan's our, my younger brother and his older brother. And he's a we, turd uh, and a butt face. We don't really like so much. Um, yeah. Okay, I said, Ethan doesn't learn. Right now, he is in his room because he complained about Annie sticking her poop hands in the eggs. <laughs> that sounds like... <laughs> like, like what does he mean? <laughs> um, Annie walked in and said sorry to me, and I said sorry back. I don't know what we were mad at each other <laughs> okay. about. Um, and I said sorry back. She said kind it, of unlike me to apologize. She for it, said so. it to Ethan, and he said, "You better be poop hands." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like I said, He's Ethan doesn't worst. learn. Speaking of Ethan, this week here's a little gem from him. He told me I should start taking Ozempic, unprompted. So that was yeah, awesome. Yeah, he's such an awesome person. Yeah, my Anyways, favorite. You better be poop hands. Like I said, Ethan doesn't learn. So, he has to do Annie's chores all week, and... <laughs> sucker! And I get to have cinnamon French toast. <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> he had to do my chores all week! Apparently! Suck it, bro! For calling you poop hands. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he really doesn't learn. He was just mean to Annie again. So now, he's doing sit-ups. What? <laughs> <laughs> and Annie decided to do them with him, and he is saying she sucks and crap, so he has to do even more. I mean, seriously. Bye. Love, Lauren. If mom ever needs evidence that he sucked when we were growing I know, up, And it was just 2012. It, it was 12 years ago. Oh and he gosh. still sucks. Yeah. My mom's always like, I think you're playing up how bad he was in your mind. Um, no the fuck I'm not, actually, but that's awesome. Um... Onward. Okay. Oh, my turn? Want, yeah, it's your turn to find one. Let me see if it, there I want to find one about myself. Poop hands is crazy. <laughs> oh, I think I have some about you in here, actually. Let me, let me look through. Sorry, this is, like, the loudest, because this spine is, like, really old. Um, let's see. Today I was getting ready for school, and I saw Goober. <laughs> well, yeah, you saw Goober. <laughs> She's your cat. You live with Goober her. Goober was our cat that <laughs> lived in our house like a cat. <laughs> oh, I saw her. Look who I saw. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, now, I know I have a good one about you in here. Um, okay. I had no school today, so I stayed home and read Divergent. Oh, hell yeah. And I was on page 77 this morning, but now I'm done with all 400 pages. Yes, it's that good. You're not wrong. It Damn, is that's crazy. It's actually crazy I read that much in one day. Lovely. That's a lot. Um... Tobias Eaton! <laughs> Slay. Actually, so true. Haha. I need to read Insurgent now. 
Um, my mom ordered it online for me, and I should get it on Wednesday the 19th. I'm so excited. Um, the next day. So I slept in past first and second period today. <laughs> um, you used the wrong past, though. Well, I still don't know the difference between the two of them, if I'm being honest. Actually, did you use the wrong one? <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. The past is like P-A-S-T, and then like I passed by something. But then there are some situations where I'm like, it's confusing, and I don't know which one I should do. I think you should have you should have used P-A-S-T, but you used... I slept in past what... So I said P-A-S-S-E-D. I yeah. slept in past first period. Well, I passed it. I slept past But you slept... Past... Pa <laughs> See? I still don't know the difference between past and past. You are now past. at a point that it is in the past, meaning you slept past it. No, but I think it's saying, like, I passed it through my sleep. I passed... Bitch, through. I don't know. <laughs> See? This is what I'm saying. Past and past are confusing. I don't understand. Um, okay. Annie was baptized today. Oh! <laughs> I don't want to read that one. Um... I like this pen. So the parte is tomorrow. <laughs> what parte? I don't know. Um, the parte. Let's let's read the day before. See if we can see what party you're talking about. I was supposed to have an orthodontist Did I say appointment super today. Super cock. What? I'm sorry. What does that say? If not super cock. It really looks like super. Oh, cock. there's a Y. Super cocky. Oh. Sorry. The Y. There was a space. There was a space. Sorry, guys. I got distracted. Keep going with what you're doing. Definitely looks like super cock. Um, I just didn't remind her. Uh, you missed your orthodontist appointment. Anyway, that's not I'm true. super bad at wearing my elastics, so yeah, my dad really wants me to get my learner's permit, but I really don't want to. So sucks for him. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wait, Keep going. Mia's Keep going. birthday party is in two days. That's the party. I'm so excited. We are going <laughs> to Salt Lake City and staying overnight in a hotel, and it's gonna be so fun. I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm assuming. I'm assuming. <laughs> you never know. But. It was actually really fun. I do remember that. Uh, it's gonna be so fun, I'm assuming. Okay, I wrote about you in this one, so you want me to read it? We have another insert. November 29th. That's from the, the trip. That's really cute, actually. It's, it has the hotel thingy. You want to read it? Yeah, she used the hotel stationery, and there's an insert of the hotel stationery that she wrote on. Yeah. Today was the day of Mia's birthday party. Freaking finally. I have, like, so much to talk about. Ugh. I think that technically this counts as a journal entry, so maybe I'll just write about it all tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I think I had, like, a fight with someone. Ooh. Or maybe it was something to do with, like, Max. You historically have had disagreements with some friends, and some of Mia's friends. Yeah. <laughs> taco, taco. <laughs> well, anyways. like I said, being nice <laughs> is new for me. <laughs> so, it took you a I was long time to kind of a bitch out, as really. a teenager. But oh, yeah. yeah. That's okay. Not anyways. as bad as our other sister, though. Nathan, love him to death. True love. Sexy. It's funny because I'm talking about a different Nathan, but it's kind of true, though. Okay, yeah. anyways. Um, so, this one, I I want to read this because I said something about Annie in it. So, Annie Ooh. and I used to share a room. Yes. To preface. And our room was attached to our bathroom. Okay, November 29th, 2011. So, I was 13. Right now, I am using my sister's pen. Meaning Annie. And now, I have to give it back because she is mad that I'm using it. Ha! Okay, it's been like two hours since I wrote that, and Annie's pooping. I just heard her fart. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she is in the bathroom, I assumed. If she's pooping, fucking what the hell? <laughs> anyway, she is in the bathroom. In bed. So I am using her pen again. Oh, she is back. So I probably need to give it back. I mean, I'm just like up to you. Second, wait a second. Hold on. Never mind. She said it's okay if I use her pen. <laughs> All right, I was convinced, I guess. <laughs> just, like, the dumbest updates about just fucking nothing. Um, mm. Never mind, she said it's okay if I use her pen. Ha ha ha, how nice. Ha ha ha. I hugged Stego again today for, like, 12 to 15 seconds. <laughs> Stego was my friend Caleb. His nickname was Stego. Um, he was zapped to hug me for 30 seconds. Do you remember zaps? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you guys, like, I don't know, didn't grow up in the U.S. Or maybe, like, this was a Utah thing. I don't know. But um, there was this, like, thing that we would do where you would zap someone. You'd write zap on the top of their hand. And then you'd give them, like, a time. You'd be, like, 3 o'clock. And if they look at the palm of their hand before 3 o'clock, they have to do whatever you wrote on the palm of their hand. Mm -hmm. So it would be, like, a dare. So, my friends, we had, like, this friend group in junior high with, like, a bunch of boys and a bunch of girls, and we went through a phase where, like, we would all zap each other all the time, and you would always be, like, hug Amanda, hug Caleb, hug Nathan, hug Lauren. Like, it was literally, that's it, but it was, like, hug for 30 seconds, or, like, 
kiss Mia on the cheek twice. Like, it was literally all that. Um, Just trying to get each other to hook up or something. Yeah, like, I don't even know. And um, I guess Stego had a zap on his hand that he had to hug me for 30 seconds, but we only hugged for, like, 12 to 15 seconds, because I guess apparently I counted or something. Um, because, let's see. Uh, he was zapped to hug me for 30 seconds, but it ended up being 12 to 15 because it had been like 9 to 11 seconds, and then we realized nobody was counting, so st- clearly I was, but whatever. Anyway, um, but then we realized nobody was counting, so Stego was like, 1, 2, 3, and skip some numbers, 30. So then I laughed and said, yeah, that works for me. Then Nathan laughed, and I have to hug Nathan too, but he makes things awkward sometimes. This is not my, <laughs> this is not my current boyfriend, Nathan, obviously. This was some kid named Nathan. Nathan was busy being a Robin Hood bully in Korea. Mm, Yeah, (laughs) Nathan was busy running from the cops and smoking cigarettes in his principal's house (laughs) in Seoul. Um, (sighs) anyway, then Nathan left. I have to hug Nathan too, but he makes things awkward sometimes. Oh well, he is so schmexy, and he is going to- Schmexy! Oh my gosh. And he is going to ask Alexis out again, in parentheses, his Mm ex-girlfriend. Why is he so dumbly hot? Oh, well, I think he is... Yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Dumbly is not... Dumbly is so dumb. (laughs) He's so dumbly hot. (laughs) Oh, well, I think he is amazing. Oh, M goodness. I think Stego might like me. That would be weird. Hmm. Oh, well, actually, it wouldn't be that weird. Anyway, bye. And then I said, it would be weird. Definitely. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I definitely funny. had a crush on Stego, Caleb, and I did not want to admit it at the time. I was like, oh my gosh, I had to have Caleb. Like, that was crazy. What if he likes me? That'd be crazy. No, he didn't like me. Maybe he does. No, that'd be so weird. <laughs> I definitely liked him. <laughs> uh, Bro, you're just always a new dude. Oh my god. No, I literally talk about a different boy in, like, every <laughs> page. It's actually fucking crazy. Really? The Mr. MMHS competition was today, and it was so freaking amazing. It was beautiful and hilarious and totally, oh my freaking, hot. And guess who won? Ty. He is my love. The end. <laughs> I'm gonna go have beautiful ginger dreams. He was a ginger. Um, I read it as finger at first, and I was like, oh, here. <laughs> no! Ginger. Yeah, no, I, that literally lasted two days, just because I saw the, like, pageant thingy, and I had a crush on him for literally, like, a day. He ended up marrying one of my friends, actually. Um, yeah, ew, weird. This one's funny. <gasps> Major spoiler about Diversion in here. <laughs> oh, is there? Yeah. Trist dies! Dies to a Is that what it says? <laughs> <laughs> biggest spoiler from the whole thing obviously no, well so. you wrote no school i need to go read i'm almost done and i'm way excited i'm way excited to read allegiant but i heard that tris dies <laughs> why, oh, why, why, why 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 i'm gonna cry okay well i'm gonna go read now so yeah i guess that was i guess it got for spoiled you. for me i don't remember that actually yeah huh. i when i read the divergent books i read them after lauren did i begged her and begged her and begged her to tell me what the big twist at the end of the books was. I wouldn't tell you. She wouldn't tell me. Yeah. Good. Good for me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> this one's kind of a long one. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but I think I'm continuing to talk about the whole thing with Nathan and Stego. So mm. we'll continue that. November 29th, 2011. Isn't that the same day as... It's the same day. I just wrote later in the day. You had more to say. I had more to say. I wrote a lot of pages this day then. Okay. I just got out of the shower and braided my hair. Just got out of the shower. It's gonna guess be. Guess who cleaned everything? Guess who got in deep? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. Anyway, I just got out of the shower and braided my hair. It's gonna be wavy in the morning, and I'm gonna be so cute. I love that I tell my journal literally everything, every single stupid detail. I'm just like excited about it. I wish I still had this zest for life. Yeah. Like I was excited about everything all the time. How okay. old were you in this? Um. 13. I did not have a zest for life when I was 13. I clearly <laughs> did. I was excited about boys and I my hair and school and everything. Miserable and insecure. And I hated myself. Well, apparently in 2013, or in 2011, Ethan doesn't learn. And he mm-hmm. still doesn't. Okay, anyway. I'm gonna be so cute. Okay, I don't even know why I'm writing right now. I don't even have anything to write about. I already wrote everything that I had to write about today. Well, right now, I'm listening to Fly Like a G6. Ha! Haha, ha. it's, and then I said, undivided attention, like a G6. Ha ha ha, it's an inside joke. Okay, I'm not gonna get into that. That's, like, way too much to explain. Anyway. 
when I read this to my children, oh, it's about Mr. Powell, who was like an old ass teacher mm. at our junior high. And I said, when I read this to my children, he will be dead. Because <laughs> he is already so old. Ha ha ha. He seems like Kermit the Frog for crying out loud. I never say that. That was weird. <laughs> for crying out loud. I was talking about. There are some teachers from school who I can't, Were, I can't wait for him to die. Oh my gosh. They're, they're probably already dead. I bet Mr. Powell's dead. How old was he? Do you know? He was old when he was old as hell when I was there, and this was thirteen years ago. He's probably dead. Cute. Good. He was a creep too. He would like. Okay, here's some lore. He would tell the like lore. junior high girls in his class, literally oh, like twelve and thirteen yeah, year olds, to turn that. their shirts around. He no longer worked there when I went there. Yeah, he that they had to flip their shirts around in his class because his eyes tended to wander. Yes. Like, I'm not even kidding. That's what he would tell us. And uh, he, yeah. He, I think that is he, so far from okay. No, that's way not okay. Was he one of the CTE teachers? Yeah, I think yeah. he got fired. He did, like, w- workshop stuff. Like, yeah, wood, yeah. Wood we shop. had a new teacher when I was there. Um, yeah. No, I think he got fired. Um, Good. And he probably has, like, CP you on his had a computer. lot of freaking creepy teachers, dude. There was a teacher was that got... his name at the high school, too? Mr. Musto. Yeah. He... We would call him Mr. Molesto. He... <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, there, I don't know if this is for sure true, but there was a rumor that he got filed, fired for CP. Eesh. Yeah. Um, but no, Mr. Powell was a creep and a weirdo, and he sang like Kermit the Frog for crying out loud. My least favorite teacher in high school, Mr. Minor. That stupid little bitch. Ugh, Mr. Minor. He Anyways. so much. Um, okay. He once said, um, two racial slurs in the span of, like, 30 He kept seconds. a confederate flag in his, like classroom and he knew he wasn't supposed to have it up so he hid it beti- behind his projector screen yeah. it was, was gone by the time i got good. there but when but i was there he would keep up he would keep his projector screen pulled down and he would like lift it up a little bit to like want to see what i have hiding back here yeah he said it was just for educational purposes he doesn't agree with it no. but i'm like then why is it hanging on your wall i'm like if it's for educational Dude. purposes like when you have a powerpoint in class you can show images of it and about it to learn about it in like a lesson you don't need to have it hanging in your class 24-7. Like, what the... Anyways. So, I was talking about that creepy teacher. Um, okay. And then I said, okay, so, I'm so confused. I like Stego. This was literally, like, a few hours after my last one where I was like, ew, I had to like Stego. That was weird. What if he likes me? That would be so weird. And now I'm just like, I like Stego. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) (laughs) Um, anyway. Okay, so I'm so confused. I like Stego. I think... But I don't know. Because he isn't, like, a guy I like. He's Stego. He's just a really good friend. Grr. I wrote grr. Okay, I'm a weirdo. Because there are so many things I know about myself. But I can't admit it even to my journal. Because when I just wrote that thing about Stego, I was afraid to write it. But that might be because someone might read my journal. Gosh, that would really suck. And now here I am projecting it to anyone who wants to listen. Just putting it on the internet. (laughs) Um... Okay, well, Lady Gaga is really weird. She had... (laughs) Alrighty. (laughs) She has this song called Marry the Night, and it's all about her and how she wants to marry the night and make love to the stars. Weird, right? (laughs) What? I'm gonna marry the night. Love to the stars. Do you remember that song? Yeah. Anyway. Weird, right? Me just, like, totally not understanding, like... Um, metaphor <laughs> at all. Really weird how she said that. Isn't that really weird? She literally wants to be <laughs> penetrated to marry by a star. the night and make love to the stars. Like, what does she even mean by that? <laughs> Strange. And then immediately I go, my mom always takes my phone away and reads my messages. It's like, what the crapo? Who the heck reads someone else's texts? It's so like creepy stalker eavesdropping. <laughs> I was honestly an iconic teenager, I have to be honest. I kind of slayed. I kind of slayed. You have to admit. That's so funny. Anyway, it's so weird. So every text that I think is too personal or I just don't want my mom to see, I have to delete. It's so annoying. That actually is. Honestly, I feel bad for 13-year-old me that just, like, felt, like, super invaded in my privacy. Like, that actually does suck. Um, She takes my phone away for the dumbest thing sometimes. Like, if I have a little writing on my hand, no phone. One missing assignment, no phone. It's like, yeah, okay, thanks for overreacting. You're really good at it. <laughs> Did you see what I... Did you see that? Yeah. You, you didn't, No. Did you? Girl, this <laughs> is so attention. funny. Stop. Listen, okay, okay. Sorry. I was talking about mom. I was like, 
If I have a little ha a little writing on my hand, no phone. One missing assignment, no phone. It's like, yeah, okay, thanks for overreacting. You're really good at it. <laughs> <laughs> You're really good at it. My mom oh my is gosh. so good at overreacting. I think she writes down everything she could overreact about. Then next to it, she writes a possible fake reason for why she is giving me a huge punishment. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta Dude. go. Nighty night. <laughs> Okay, my turn. So peace out, homie G. Ha ha. That exposed Lauren. <laughs> no. Not the one I just showed you. Oh, okay. Something else. Today is, this is the very beginning of this journal, by the way. Uh-oh. Today is the day before Easter. Before written B number four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How else would you write this So before? we did our Easter egg hunt earlier this morning, and I got candy and money. $3.25. Hell yeah. <laughs> and whatnot. And in my basket, I got this journal. Today is also my... Ant. I thought it said clunt. <laughs> it does gotta look like clunt. <laughs> today is also my Aunt Kelly's birthday, so yeah. I was gonna go to JCPenney today to get flip-flops, but we are gonna do that on Monday instead. Get Boy update. <laughs> Why did I have to go to JCPenney to get flip-flops? I don't know. Like boy update dot 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 question mark. That's it. Ugh. <laughs> wow. No boy update, I guess. Hashtag ready for love. Hashtag gay show. Hashtag YOLO. Hashtag swag. Hashtag YOLO swag. <laughs> Lauren's homophobic. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How Yeah, in 2013 she? I used gay as an insult. <laughs> Sorry. Not that there's anything wrong with being gay. I think we sang that song on our last episode. Bro-mance. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> Right now, I'm listening to Brian Regan, and he's so freaking hilarious. So Haha, <laughs> cannonball wound. That's silly. Haha, <laughs> 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 cannonball wound. Oh, no. Oh, no. The, oh, no, you can just shove that wherever. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, Pam. <laughs> um, there was a page I had saved with my finger, and now I can't find it, because I, I lost it. Okay, I feel like I need to find a good one. Oh, oh, I like another guy now. Different guy. You guys ready for the, another? Also, would, I would just like to say, all of the ones that I've read that have been about different boys have all been, like, one page apart from each other. Oh like, God. it's literally that quick. Because uh. this one, December 19th, 2011. So, like, less than a month since my whole Nathan Stego thing. Four days ago, I danced slowly with Mustache <laughs> Kid. Slowly. Mustache Kid was a nickname. Oh, so my friends kid. and I always gave nicknames to the boys we liked so that we could talk about them without mm. them like knowing. His name was actually Wyatt. Um, we had nicknames like that. For yeah. People at, with, when I was mm, in I danced high too. in parentheses slowly with Mustache Kid. Eee! He is so cute, and we danced to Justin Bieber's song Mistletoe. So now oh, I love great Justin song. Bieber. <laughs> That's why you like Justin Bieber? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I wrote this in code. Oh dear. Shit. <laughs> Do you not know the... Oh, I think I can figure code. it out. Okay, while you um, do that... Wait. This, and I think that this should be in code. Mustache Kid was going to kiss me. Ah, weird, huh? What if he did? That would be so weird. And awesome. But I would feel really weird about it and happy. Ha. Huh. You probably <laughs> didn't... You probably didn't understand any of that, whoever is reading my diary... Wait, this isn't a diary. This is a journal. Who am I kidding? This is a diary. Today I talked to Mustache Kid, and he called me... There is no difference between a diary and a journal. <laughs> also, I love that I'm, like, narrating. <laughs> who am I kidding? This is a diary. Like, who are you talking to? <laughs> um, today I talked to Mustache Kid, and he calls me Mustache Person. So he was like, Mustache Person, why are you so cool? And I was like, oh, I just am, you know? I was just born like that. And he was like, haha, yeah. And I was like... Just right from the start, I've been cool. And he was like, so you were born and a breeze blew by and you were just cool? And I was like, yeah, that's like exactly how it happened too. And then we both laughed. Wow. <laughs> okay, here's a good one. Uh. January 16th, 2014. Ah! I'm so excited. I was 16. <laughs> Today I found out that Giuseppe is coming to Utah. Oh my gosh, how many boys do I <laughs> fucking like? <laughs> well, actually, he's already here, and he's here for the wrestling tournament at UVU. We should. And we are going to see him wrestle. Ah! Okay, all right, all right. I'm so excited I'm going to pee. <laughs> Giuseppe was a boy I had a crush on when we lived in Washington. Um, I, I think had we should a crush go on through. his little brother. 
I think for a while. Mason. Yeah. I I think we should go through <laughs> all of my journals and count up how many different boys' names oh I my say. Gosh, that would take. It has time. to be over thirty. I once counted up all of the crushes that I had just in June or just in elementary school. <laughs> it was like fourteen. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> okay, I did not have that many in elementary school. In elementary school, I had one, two, three, four, five. I think five. Yeah. yeah. No, I had I had a bigger phase with having crushes on boys in elementary school than junior high. For me, it was big time junior I, high. I kind of moved on for the most part from having crushes on people. I had more consistent, like, one crush at a time crushes in junior high. Because, I don't know, yeah. Also, if you guys want to know what ever happened with Mustache Kid, he confessed that he had a crush on me at the um, dance. Yeah. yeah, and then I was like, oh, I like you too. And then he was like, oh, bye. Awesome. <laughs> and then we would text each other and be like, do you want to talk at school tomorrow? And like, yeah, we can meet up after school. Or I'd be like, do you want to hold hands tomorrow? And then I'd be like, oh my god, I can't believe I sent that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, no, when I got to junior high, I had, I, I can't even remember his name, but there was one boy I had a crush on for like the first year and a half of junior high. And then... I met Spencer. <laughs> oh, Spencer. Spencer. Um, and then I liked him for years, um, which is embarrassing because he's super gay. Um, and every <laughs> time I would tell somebody that I had a crush on him, they were like, Annie, I'm going to hold your hand when I tell you this, but uh, he's definitely real gay. And I was like, you don't know that. He told me he's straight. You don't know that. He's not gay. <laughs> I hung out with him last week. Big gay. And we were talking about that and, and we, we, we were laughing. I was like, was I in any way subtle? And he's like, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no, I already I knew. I always knew Queen, but I still like hanging out with you anyway. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, I, I like, wrote oh, Mustache Kid's lovely. number in here. Should we call it? No. Uh, <laughs> can I read it out to the pod? Well, I told the story of how I got his phone number. So I can. Do you want me to share that? I really embarrassed myself yesterday in front of Mustache Kid. So yesterday, Mustache Kid, I will call him Wyatt for now. So he walked up to me and stuff and was like, hey, Mustache Person. And I was like, hey, do you have a cell phone? And Wyatt was like, yeah. And I was like, what's your number? And he was like, 801. And I was like, hold up, let me write this down. <laughs> do you like the right way that I write oh, it's really conversations? Good. I have a really good, good one to read. So I was searching, <laughs> searching through my backpack to find a pencil and I grabbed one and a random piece of paper and was like, okay. And he was like, 801. And then I was like, wait, this pencil doesn't work. So I searched for another one and I got it and I was like, dang, it's busted. So I was searching through my friend Liz's backpack and binder and Wyatt was just standing there laughing and I was so embarrassed but I finally found one in my friend Amanda's bag and he was laughing so hard that I couldn't stop laughing but finally he was like, 801, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, blah, 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 blah. And he was like, no, blah, 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 blah. I can't say the numbers, but you get what I, you get the idea. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, and I fixed it. Yeah, it was crazy lady. And then he said, whenever I come over to talk to you, you always burst out laughing. And I was like, I know, right? Yeah, it was pretty much one of the most embarrassing things ever. And I realized that earlier I had left my pencil in the classroom because I thought I wouldn't need it. I was so totally wrong. I love that I was like, I won't need this. Just leave my pencil. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, I've got a really good one. Just <laughs> the start of this is wild. Oh no. <clears throat> <laughs> so we had no school today because it was Martin Luther whatever day. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. No! <laughs> Annie, you can't expose me like that. That's hilarious. Wait, let me see. Where, where was it? Martin Luther whatever day. We went and saw Thor too, and he is so gorgeous. <laughs> Way more interested in Thor than I am in Martin Luther King. Wow. <laughs> sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have read that. No, one. that's actually so funny. funny. I'm sorry. I say whatever. I was gonna so read much. the the page before that too, though. Oh, Max wasn't at church again. I have no idea why. What the? I said shit, but I said dollar sign h exclamation point seven. What the shit is wrong with him? Ugh. Just kill everyone. <laughs> But not Giuseppe. I am, <laughs> I am going through withdrawals because of no She, uh, by the way, has a crush on both of the people <laughs> she's talking about in this page. <laughs> yeah. I am going through withdrawals talk. because of no Giuseppe. I like for reals miss him. Ugh, just why did I say nothing? Oh yeah, when I finally went to his like wrestling meet or whatever, I didn't even talk to him at all. 
But I kept the wristband from the wrestling thing for like Yeah, it's taped weeks. in there, I think. Oh my god. Um, so I guess forever. I still have it. Technically. Mm. Oh, why did I just say nothing? I don't think I will ever get over this. <laughs> okay. Dramatic. I'm over it. <laughs> I think it took me maybe a week to get over it. Like, be for real. Mm. He is so cute and nice and beautiful sounding. Beautiful sounding. And hot. And an old friend. Hot? And, 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 what was I thinking? What is wrong with me? Ugh, I love him. Bye. And then the next day was Martin Luther whatever day. <laughs> Martin Luther whatever day. <laughs> that is really bad. Oh my god, that's really bad. Oh, it's so good. I think that I am now in love with Loki. I can't Loki? explain it. All right. You were never a Loki girl. No, I wasn't. I don't remember that at all. Weird. <laughs> uh-huh, whatever. So yeah, I ran away today. What? <laughs> I used to run away all the time. You going? So were in high school, dude. <laughs> I had a traumatic childhood. <laughs> okay, keep going. I For some away. reason, I was really, really tempted to go to Max's house. I don't know why, but I didn't. Maybe I should have. No, you should not have. <laughs> it was really good that you didn't. But I still just don't know why I feel like I should have. What to do, Eva? Way I good to. What is this? <laughs> what to the Eva? What well, to the Eva? Well, good to the bye. <laughs> That's what that is. Why are you so obsessed with being, like, gangster or something it was, in high school? I'm, okay, I'm just telling you, like, the late 2000s, early 2010s, you were like, I'm such people a would, like, yeah, people just <laughs> talked like that. Like, I can't explain. I was not the only one, for sure. The fake blacks. It was, like, oh, maybe that's what it was. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, I have another boy I'm talking about now. School was good. It's time to go to sleep. I hugged Ryan again today. Good night. That's all. I know. Boring. Next day. I danced with Ryan at the school dance. I don't know if I like anyone at the moment. Girl, what? <laughs> that was quick. Anywho, there's this awesome band that I love. Hot Show Ray. And oh, oh my gosh, real. they are amazing. So I love true. them. Ah, okay. And they have this new song, Honestly, and the lyrics honestly. are on the back of the page, so go to them. I wrote you the wrote entire the song li- lyrics. Girl. Yeah. Today was club day, and all we really did was take club pictures. That's it. Fun stuff. Bruh. I got my phone taken away again. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to mention. Yesterday, Annie Beef and I made a movie called Carpet Swing. Hell and yeah. it's so weird. Haha, ha, but I like it. It is weird. And I wish I we love could... that you would sign it. Heart me. I still do. Girl. <laughs> In my current journal, I still do that. I'll say love me or love Ren. Um. What? Okay. <laughs> Hi. I have nothing to write about. But I am bored, so I'm writing. I found out, oh, this was 2010. I I skipped back a while. Um, I found out today the guy I really like is really into basketball. Me? Not so much. But I guess I will just have to accept him for it. Yeah, I don't even like him, that uh, that guy anymore. Like, okay, this is the same. Oh, May 9th, 2011. Okay, I just skipped five months in the middle of a paragraph. Okay, what? Anyways. So I guess I'll just have to accept him for it, for liking basketball. Yeah, it's May 9th, 2011, and I don't even like that guy anymore. It was Colton Hamilton. Ooh, first and last. Sorry. <laughs> um, I liked a guy named Carson Hamilton. I have a new revised list <laughs> over on the other page, though. I think, was that his brother? Possible. Okay, I think, was he in our ward? Maybe. I yeah, I think that was, anyways. Um, I have a new revised list over on the other page, oh, yeah, he though. Was. Yeah. yeah, so that was literally his brother. We liked a lot of brothers, actually. Cute. Yeah. What other um, brothers? I don't know, your mom. You just talked about one earlier, Giuseppe. Oh, Giuseppe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> there's a revised list on the other page. So if you're still reading this, stop. Look at the other page. Okay, let's see. Um, Nick. Schmexy. Codename, Raspberry. Keegan. Exclamation points. Codename, oh, Keegan. Jalapeno. Connor, not good. lots of exclamation <laughs> points. Codename, turkey leg. Kyle, yeah. just, I said his name. Codename, strawberry. And I think this guy named Joe is really funny, but he is a very cute. Okay. <laughs> um, that was a lot of guys. <laughs> uh, okay, you ready for this one? Yeah, I don't know, am I? Is it as bad as Martin Luther whatever day? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So, Lauren's racist and homophobic, we learned. Uh. <laughs> so, last night I had a dream of Giuseppe. Hmm. And it was a good dream, but it was not real. Was it the airplane one? I don't... Hold on. We're not... Because I think I remember this dream. Hold on. Okay, sorry. And it was a good dream, but it was not real. Sigh. So, I heard that if you write down your dreams, then you won't have dreams like that anymore. And maybe I'm just being superstitious, but I'm not going to write out the dream I had. So, future Lauren, I am so sorry because I know you are wanting to kill me right now. I am! For not writing it down, but just think really hard about a 
the dream you had about Giuseppe shortly after you saw him at UVU that one time. Just think hard. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's so funny! Oh my gosh, I was so funny. <laughs> Just think hard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, no, I do remember we were at like an in like an airplane hangar, and there were, I think there was like a clown there, but like, dude, I don't even remember. I think we were chasing this airplane, and we were trying to get on like you know the back part that like comes down mm-hmm. where they put like suitcases or whatever. Yeah, yeah. We were trying to like. Jump onto there. I like bear- the Toy Story. I, maybe. Was this is a toy, toy Story I, inspired. Yeah, thing. I only barely remember it, but um, yeah. I wish I had just written the details. Fucking super superstitious fourteen year old bitch. <sighs> also, um, I'm willing to bet you never saw Giuseppe again in your life because he lived in Washington. No, that was the last time I saw him. <laughs> definitely. Um. Okay, we're getting to the. Oh, did I write this? What the fuck? Let's. <laughs> what happened to your handwriting? Okay, I want to grab a different journal. Where's my bigger pink purple one that? Over, oh, here, right there. Um, I want to see if there's anything good in this one. This one was more like high school. The ones we've been reading have mostly been from junior high. I think you've read a couple that were maybe into high school, but, um, you know what? The way I started it. New journal. That is Bay. Oh my gosh. Lauren, <laughs> today was really fun. I went to Hub and Squish's b-ball game against Those Springdale, are my friends, Michaela and And they Liz. lost, but the boys won their game versus Springdale, so that's good. And it was really, really fun. We did this whole flash mob thing, and I saw Jordan. Who's Lauren! Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> Again! Oh! And Annie was with us. No, I, was I remember. Jordan was a guy I liked in junior high, but we went to different high schools. So he went to Springville High, so that's why he was there. I remember that. Um, oh, I remember this. And what? Annie was with us, me and, Mo- and Munda. Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to get her into the stomp afterwards somehow. It was really fun. And I, do you remember that? When you had to sneak me into the school dance? Because I wasn't in high school. Yes. I think. I remember that. Barely. Yeah. I put a... It it was... That dance was in the cafeteria. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember that. I put, um... I put a quote from Tyler Oakley in here. It says, I have bags under my eyes. They're designer bags, but they're bags nonetheless. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, wait. In the other one, you were gonna read the part where you lied, and you called yourself out later for lying. Oh! I did lie. Wait, I wanted to find something. Oh, I have a whole text conversation that I wrote down in text bubbles. Oh, dear. Um, maybe we'll have to do a part two to this episode and read other journals. Oh, yeah, it's been an hour already. I Damn. know. Let me see if I can find the one where I lied. Ugh. Um. Ugh, I'm sweaty. Because I... Okay, here oh, it is. There it is. Um, I used to go back through my old journal entries like a few months later and I would like edit and revise them with a different pen because like I don't know so I wrote this today I was getting ready for school and I saw goober oh so that's I sorry I guess that was the Uh, I never finished of course you saw goober (laughs) yeah and I saw goober my cat and so I pet her (laughs) I love my cat she started meowing so I went into the laundry room and fed her and then I said weird strange why like apparently that just didn't happen like, I, <laughs> like, it's not even, like, what's even the point of lying about that? I saw my cat, and so I went really and strange. fed her. Um, I didn't have breakfast this morning, so when it was time for lunch, I was hungry. I have lunch during third period. So during second period, I was starving, and my stomach was growling like crazy. My tummy was happy after lunch. I've got to start eating in the morning. I have trouble with eating at 6.30 a.m. I don't know why, but I just can't eat in the morning. It's like a sickness. Guess what? My friend Lexi just read this journal. I'm not sure how much she read, but I'm very angry and never going to leave this journal laying out for people to see ever again. I don't like people getting into my personal business without my permission. It makes me mad. Anyway, my arms are getting tired, and I'm going to go stop writing for a bit. It's actually so valid. You don't just pick up someone's journal. Oh, I lied again. I'm at the dentist now. It's a dentist I've never been to before. Oh, I got to go in. Bye. That was a lie. Why did I lie about that? Don't know. What was the lie? <laughs> um, that I had to go in. I was still waiting there. I just didn't want to write anymore. But I, like, was lying to my journal. I was like, I gotta go. I didn't want to make it feel bad, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, well, I guess you guys... I don't know how fun this was for the listeners. It was maybe super stupid, but... I think there were some pretty funny parts. Mm-hmm. Martin Luther whatever is really, <laughs> really funny. It's horrible, obviously, but pretty fucking funny. Um, uh, yeah. So, thanks for listening. If you guys hate my teenage self as much as I do, give us a like. And, <laughs> I don't know. 
email us and tell us some stupid things you said in your journal. Actually, let's see if we have any emails. I haven't checked our email in like foevs. In like foevs. Foevs. <laughs> I haven't checked our email in like foevs. Oh, I was watching Logan too. Oh. And I also stopped a while in because I was like, this is boring. Well, Nathan and I were watching it last night and then it was just late and I had to go to sleep and I was like, can we just finish this another day because I had to work really early this morning, so. I have to work really early tomorrow morning. Oh, womp womp. Womp womp for real. <laughs> I want wings. Okay, we don't we don't have any emails because all of our listeners hate us, so. Oh, so you hate me. Oh, so, oh, so you hate, hate us. Oh, so you want us to die. Um, okay, well, give us a thumbs up for Martin Luther whatever day. <laughs> Sorry, that's <laughs> terrible. I, that's crazy, you though, that I said that. You keep bringing it up. It's so funny. Uh, what's your song recommendation? Oh, oh my gosh. We have to tell that story. What? Today, oh, um, Lauren posted her like July post on Instagram. Yeah, follow me on Instagram at Anna Lauren Halverson. I post once a month about everything I did that month, and you should follow me. Okay, Thank you. Anyways, um, and she just like you can put just like a song with your posts now. I don't know how long that's been a thing for a while. A while. Um, she put "Pool" by Remy Wolf and Still Woozy, great mm-hmm. song, and she tagged me in the post because I was in one of the pictures well i wasn't actually in it but whatever dude they don't i was tagged in the post (laughs) and so i got a notification you were i clicked on it your foot's in it oh lovely (laughs) so i click on it and i'm like what the hell why is my music playing double because i was listening to pool by still woozy when i clicked on that post or still woozy and remy wolf both of them and i was so confused i was like what the hell are the chances <laughs> and then i call lauren immediately after that happens to tell her and she's singing that song to herself <laughs> yeah when i answered the phone i was singing like, that song so and she's like girl um brie are you at yellowstone apparently she didn't even tell us brie what the page. hell is that the trip with her fiance's family i thought that wasn't until a while from now is that know. right now maybe What the? She okay. Hates us. Anyway, that's completely irrelevant. Our listeners yeah. do not care. Um, yeah. my song, girl, my song recommendation is "Hot Butter Summer Time." No, it's not. My song recommendation is "Mentos and Coke" by Michelle. <laughs> Are you surprised? Is this by Michelle? Yeah. Mine is "Sailor Song" by Gigi Perez. There you Slay. go. Okay, bye guys. I hope you hate me. As much as I hate myself, I was the most annoying teenager in the world. That's and true. also, I have... I had to witness it for I have literally so many more journal entries. If you guys did actually like this, we can definitely read more. I have... We only went through two of my journals, and we didn't even read everything in it. I have, like, five other journals. Like, there's so much. Um, I can try to look for my old journals. Because I've started journals before and written, like, a couple pages. Yeah. They are probably hilarious, those few pages. There's just not very many of them. You should try to find them. I'll go home and look for them. Okay. We love you guys. Our dumps. We love the dumpsters. Bye-bye, dumpies. I'm gonna go poop and shit and fart. Ooh, just like the dumpies. Poop and shit and fart. Poop.